In this video on SCCM 2012R2, I'm going to be talking about installing a Configuration Manager primary site. And the first thing I'm going to do is configure the prerequisites for the CM deployment. So I'm going to do is start Server Manager, verify that IIS is installed, the required feature, and then that the Windows ADK is installed. So all I'm going to do is here, I'm going to just verify that the IIS role is installed. You should see it over here. We'll take a look on this server right here. And you'll see that it already is installed. That's great onto there. In the next part, I'm going to just verify the required features. I'm going to do is remote differential compression and the bits features are installed. So if I do isn't this, you can see that I have bits installed right there. And you can see I have under the remote administration tools. Let's take a look under here. The next part I'm going to do is verify that the Windows ADK has been installed. And you can see under here, under the ADK, I have deployment tools. Windows pre-installation environment, and I have the user state migration tool. Let's do is this right here. Let's just take a look, as and as you can see, that I have the folder there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the Active Directory schema. I'm going to run this on the domain controller. Go here, bin. X64. And under here, under X64, I'm going to find on here the executable. Let's find the application on this. Search that again. And this one right here, then I'm going to write extend AD. Here we go. Now I'm going to just, there's this. Let's find out if that actually worked. It seemed to go so quickly on there. In the root of C, we should see this log right here. Let's take a look inside. And it says it successfully extended the AD schema. Great. The next thing I'm going to do is create a system management container with ADSI edit. So then I'm going to go here and click on connect to, and then I'm going to default naming context on this right over here. I'm going to take the default. Okay. Then I'm going to expand the default naming content. You'll see it uh, you know, takes a little bit of time here. And then I'm going to go into this DC. Remember, this is domain component over here. Then I'm going to look for the system container. I'm going to right-click it. I'm going to say a new object on this right here. Great. Now I'm going to click a container over here. And on this one right here. I'm going to call it system management on here. Then I'm going to just finish. And now you'll notice under here, if I click on the system there, you'll notice under here there's now been one created called system management container under this one right there. Good. Now the next thing I have to do is, I'm going to have to do is assign full control permissions to this right, this one, to the one for the container. That's next. And I'm going to go into here, AD users and computers. I need to do is though turn on the advanced right here, in case you've ever wondered why sometimes you can't find things under this right here. 
I'm going to do is just go into system under here. And I'm going to go to the system management container properties. So I'm going to set the security on this. Go to the security tab. I'm going to add on to this. Object types I have to do for computers because by default, computers is not selected as that one right there. So I'm going to say London CFJ because that's the name of the computer. And I'm going to say in that one right there. And on this one right there, you're going to see this. If you take a look at the allow container right here, I'm going to go full control under this. So remember, I just did this on this one right here. Now I'm going to go as here. Go to advance. I'm going to go and I'm going to edit this right here. Now in the permission, I'm going to say this object and all of its descendant objects. This is going to reset inheritance. I'm going to say OK. Then OK. And just remember, so we've done this and we've... So I've given full control of the London config computer to the system management container. And I've also changed the inheritance onto this object and all descendants on there. Great. So I've done is I've checked all the prerequisites, extended the AD schema, and I'm going to install the uh, CM2012 in a standalone primary site. So now on the E drive, I'm going to go to the Config Manager 2012, and I'm going to go into the um, splash, click on this. What I'm going to do is this HTML application host on this. Really good. So the next thing I'm going to do is click on install next. A little bit of latency here. I'll wait. So before we begin, it's also going to just get, remind you of some useful information. You have supported SQL Server available. Identify the FQDN of the computer that's running SQL. And the computers for our CM sites. Meet the minimum system requirements. Read any release notes on there. Okay, now I'm going to do is this is just take the defaults on this one. And go next. I'm going to use the eval version on this right here. I'm going to accept the license. Of course, for the SQL also. And then native, I accept the license in Silverlight. You have to accept them all if you want to continue. Then I'm going to use previously downloaded files. I'm going to browse for it. I'm going to do is on this one right here on the E drive. So I'm going to pick under this the Config Manager 2012 R2 redist folder. Next. It's going to just verify the prerequisites, etc. Let's wait. Now in the language one, I'm just going to default. It notice it defaults to English. I'm just going to pick that. Same thing on the on the ones there. Now on the site code right here, I'm going to pick LUN. And the site name, a datum site. Install the CM console. Selected. I'm going to do it as a standalone site here. And we do a standalone site. Next. I'm going to do is this one right here. Next, yes. Now, the SQL Server, London config, a datum. Because remember, we can talk about whether co located or non co located, which we will discuss at a later date. London config in this. The database name is cm underscore lun, and the port on it is 4022. 
This one right here. And then this one right here. Configure it and then next. Install a management point. So on this one right here, instead of just saying accepting only HTTPS, we're going to configure it on each site role. So on this one right here. Next. On the next one right there. Install a management point is selected. And install a distribution point is selected right there. Good. The FQDN looks good. I'm not going to enjoy. I'm not going to do is join it because I don't have the internet access on here for this demo purposes. Next, and now it's going to go through. Okay, so now it's done. It's ready. The prerequisite check is completed. So now I'll begin the install. As you can see, the course setup has completed. Completed. I can look in the view the log and so forth. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and I'm going to exit.